Hello, hello, my name is Emma and welcome to Purgatory. I keep getting the instinct to say Purgatory Windows to be honest, because that's how it's labeled, because I'm playing this on Windows, but that's besides the point. I've already actually done this once, I've recorded this once, but I wasn't really satisfied with the way I went about things, so we're going again and we're gonna try and get, uh, what's the name? Oliver Numa. But, because I'm stupid, I'm gonna use a walkthrough for this because I do not know how to do anything. So let me go check really quick. I have it up, but my eyes are really bad. Hee hee hee. Okay, Oliver, how do I get started on a story arc? Chat with? Okay. So first, we're gonna go to Oliver. I'm pretty sure Oliver's in the library. Uh, this way is the library. Right? Ask him about his work, then ask if we can help. Got it. Oliver? Huh? Oh, hello, sorry. Can I help you with something? Mmm, how do you think your work's going? Huh. Still looking for a foothold. The Vigner Vignere cipher was a dead end, but maybe an Affine cipher? Uh, can I help? Is there anything I can do? Mm, no thank you. Are you sure? Eh, don't take this the long way, but you look exhausted. Really, I'm fine. I could- I can help! I can help! I'm serious, I don't need help. So, some space, please. Push it! <laughs> well, I think you do need help. You're not getting anywhere anyway. Staying cooped up here isn't healthy for you, and you should at least let me get you something to drink. Please? Oh. As I take a sip of my water. Well... I suppose I am a bit parched. Some orange soda would be nice. Alright, you got it. One orange soda coming right up. Thank you. Oliver goes back to scribbling without another word. Okay, orange soda. Up, up, right, right, up. I'm a genius. It looks like it's full of orange soda. If you had a cup, you could get some for Oliver. I know where there's a cup. Mm, not here. You know, the cup that's about to fall off. But I actually don't. <laughs> I don't remember how to get there is the problem. Hmm. Well, I'll get there eventually. Actually. Oh, I don't know. I'm just getting more lost. Okay, actually, if I go up here and I go up here. Beep. Out here. To the, to the left? Yeah, to the left. No. There. Down. Sink. Hello. <laughs> A glass dangerously close to the edge. You get some, get some of the orange soda for Oliver. As you reach for the glass, the cat locks eyes with you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you dare. <sighs> you f fucking cat. <laughs> Damn it. What do I do? You don't open these because someone forgot to draw handles. I'm gonna throttle you. Bad cat. Toaster? Uh, MR? What's that noise? It's nothing, just blo broke the glass. Actually, your cat kinda did that. Oh, phew. I was worried someone got hurt. I'm a. Nah, don't promote. I will not promote animal abuse. Do you know where I can find another glass though? Hmm, don't know. As far as I know, that was the last cup in purgatory. What are you guys gonna do then? Drink with your bare hands? Dang. Who knows? Maybe you'll find a couple lying around. You mug be kidding me. Honesty, this is the best policy. Okay, I better get going to tell Oliver he's not getting his orange soda. Okay, see ya. I'll be in the attic if you wanna hang out. Yes sir, ma'am sir. KK. Time to tell Oliver the bad news, y'all. He ain't getting his juice today. If I can find him again. What the hell is that dog? Hmm? Boop. Uh, sock. 
Boop, 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 boop. Wrong way. Oh, that, that means there's two cats in purgatory, actually. Because that cat is still there, and the other cat... Okay, that's interesting. I always thought there was going to be one cat. Even though considering it's called purgatory, which is interesting. Oliver? Dot, dot, dot. Oliver, I couldn't find a cup to put your soda in. He's fast asleep. I don't want to wake him up. Mm, blanket. You grab the blanket and you drape it over him. Click. <laughs> Andrew, stop it. You freeze. Just, just five minutes. You slowly step back from Oliver. Before you can get out of the door, you knock over a tin can of pencils. <laughs> huh? Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. Go back to sleep. Well, it's okay. <sighs> Oliver stares bleary at you, then his papers. How long was I out? Um, I'm not sure. I just got here. Well, enough for you to slur your words. I wanted to tell you that I couldn't find a cup for the orange soda. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm gonna miss the deadline. He rubs his eyes and searches for a pen. What deadline? The thesis deadline. It's in... It's... Where am I again? Uh, purgatory, remember? Oh, right. Purgatory with two R's. I remember I was very indignant about that. Um, sorry about that. I don't know what came over me. Thank you for making me up. But I should go back to work. Oh no you don't! You stop right there! Burnout is a big problem in this day and age. You're like passing out due to exhaustion. You need a break. I'll be fine. Amara, this is important. This is the only lead that I- No! Stop it! Stop it! You're taking a break right now. <sighs> I don't know, I just can't sit here while there's work to be done. Well, you don't have to sit around and do nothing. You have to play chess with Tori, maybe. Maybe we can go on a walk? Get a change of scenery or something? A walk where, exactly? Hmm... The museum! That sounds... agreeable. Let's go then! Right now? Yeah! Maybe I can finish annotating this data- No! Yes, right now. Come on. Alright, alright. Oliver follows you quietly to the museum. Ah, culture and art. Refreshing. I'm not sure if I would call this culture. How dare you? This is peak art. What do you mean? There's a Da Vinci right there. Ah, I think that one's Vermeer. Oh, right. You walk around in silence for a while. I wonder if the Schrodinger's cat is dead or alive. I mean, I'd assume it's dead. Actually, nowhere in Purgatory it's probably alive. No, wait, is it dead? Actually, <laughs> that's a good question. Mm -hmm. I guess the smell would be a dead giveaway. <sighs> you walk in silence some more. Come on, appreciate the upside down cat. They're all pictures of the same cat, but better. What's on your mind, Famicom? Nothing. Just tired. Fair enough. Hmm, you know what's on my mind? Airline food. What's up with that? The low pressure on planes makes your taste buds less sensitive, so food tastes worse. Eh, it's okay if you're eating anything. If you're willing, you know? Oh, cool. Awkward. Um, wanna sit on a bench? Sure. You sit next to each other. You know, I've always had a hard time admitting that I'm wrong. Oh, what? Yeah, I was always a somewhat stubborn person. I guess that hasn't really changed since dying, huh? <laughs> <laughs> My problem is that I'm always wrong. I lack many things. Well, I'm sure that's not true. No, no, it's okay. Being wrong has its upsides too, right? No one expects a lot of you. What would possibly be an upside of being wrong? 
Well, you learn a lot more that way, and no one expects anything! And sometimes you learn from really interesting people. And they don't expect anything from you! Okay, I'll stop. Hmm. I guess I never thought about it that way. I remember in middle school, it was kind of a stupid story, but on the way to school one day, my brother pointed out that my shirt was inside out. Mm -hmm. The funny thing is, I already knew it was inside out, but I didn't want to acknowledge it that he was right. So I kind of just left it like that the entire day. I don't think it'd make that big of a difference though. I told my friends it was an inside joke and for some inane reason it started catching on. <gasps> Oliver is a trendsetter. The school is plagued with inside out clothes for weeks. Nice. Truly a trendsetter. <laughs> no way, yes. But it's kind of silly, isn't it? I wore my shirt inside out for an entire month just to prove my brother wrong. <sighs> you were just a kid. Kids do all sorts of dumb things. I suppose so. Um, want to play tic-tac-toe? Sure. I'll go for- No! I wanted to go first. I know how to play tic-tac-toe. Sorry. I wanted to go first. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that if I were you. Uh-oh. No! Crap. I see the problem now. I don't I I don't see the problem. I've literally I'm I've literally won the game. Do you not do you not see my win? I win! I you did not! <laughs> I won. I will go first. Look Look at me go first. Please, please just let me play. No, it's lagging. My tic-tac-toe game was too strong. <sighs> okay, we'll give it, we'll give it. Okay, shh, nice. Oliver, you're a true buffoon. You're Fool, indeed. Cause I'm the real winner here. <laughs> Stalemate this time. That's an improvement. Just watch, I'll get you this time. We'll see about that. Let's do another. Oh shit, you're starting first this time? Eh, whatever. Still can't believe Oliver is messing with me, so don't say anything. I can tell from your face that was a bad move. No, it's the best move. Yeah. No. No. Oh. It's the best move. Uh, another win. Ugh, I messed this one up. It's okay, maybe I'll get it next time. Sure, sure. It's your turn for us to go, by the way. Alright, let me think. I am a winner. If only I could click done. Man. My laptop is just not not up to tic-tac-toe standards. Every time I do it like that, it's a stalemate. Ty, hope you're not growing tired of this. Huh, <laughs> not quite yet. Man, I really suck at this game. Oh, well, that's not necessarily true. No, no, I'm very good at this game. Have you not seen my many wins? One more? Sure. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> That's a win! Damn! Ugh, I give up. Guess I just suck at tic-tac-toe. 
Well, to be fair, tic-tac-toe is a solved game. Right. It's not that hard to find the perfect strategy. strategy. Yep. And since I'm using that perfect strategy, that's actually uh, impossible for you to win. I know. I know. Well, why do you even play this game if you know you're going to win our tie each time? Hmm. Honestly, I'm not sure. Because you're a doo-doo head. That's why. <laughs> we're, we're reverting to kindergarten jokes, huh? Maybe it's because deep down, I just like the feeling of being successful. I mean, I do too. Oh, this is deep. We're getting deep now. S sorry for calling you a doo-doo head? It's fine. Sorry for not letting you win. I know, right? It's not fine. <laughs> and sorry for being an ass to you earlier. I was tired and frustrated, but that's no excuse. <laughs> it's fine, I guess. You're just caught up in your work. Yes, but that's the exact problem I've always had. I get caught up in my work and then... Well, Oliver puts his head in his hands. I'm... Sorry. Do you want to talk about it? You see, when I died, I was working on my thesis. The little wood conjecture, a uh, obscure number theory problem. I've already spent several years chipping away at the project, but I was stubborn. I didn't want to admit I was wasting all my time researching an intraceable problem. I just, I didn't want to feel like a failure. It felt silly to say it now that I'm dead, but I'm sorry, you probably don't want to hear any of this. No! Give me the lore! Give me your lore! No, it's okay. I don't mind listening. <laughs> well, as I grew desperate, I started spending more and more time in my apartment researching. Meanwhile, life just moved on without me. My mom, she, uh, she passed away. My friends fell out of touch one by one. For God's sake, I haven't gone on a date in years. But what really haunts me is, one day, my only brother got in touch. I haven't talked to him for a long time, but I was the only family he had left and he needed help. But I, well, I was out of grant money. So I didn't think I could, well, I calculated that. I mean, taking into consideration my brother's lifestyle. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I'm so sorry. It's fine. The, the point is, I gave up everything for my research. Everything and everyone. And before I could even finish, there was a car accident. I remember... Oliver wipes his eyes. I remember... It was a, a snowy night. <laughs> the headlights were so bright. And I, I forgot. At least now I could see my mother and apologize for everything. But I know I'm reading it this way, but I'm probably it's probably like messing with the dialogue a little bit because he's like messing up his words. Pat his back. It's okay. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes, even big ones. There's nothing you can do to change it now. <laughs> I know. That's the worst part of it. You keep Oliver company as he cries for a while. Eventually, he draws himself up. <sniffs> um, I should go. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I think I'm going to take a nap. Progress! That is a very good idea. And um, thank you for playing tic-tac-toe with me. You're welcome. I'll see you later. See ya! Oliver trudges away. And I guess we will trudge away too. Oliver's not done, so I guess we're breaking into his nap time. Telling him to get to work. <laughs> Oliver, it's work time! Oh, okay. 
But that means we can look at his stuff. Books that added all Oliver was cataloging, maybe? Were covered in notes and stuff? Some papies on the floor? Some papies? Take his glasses. Take, take his glasses. Looks like he's getting as much needed rest. Desk lamp. Hmm. Something that we can do. Well, you know what time it is. Walk through time. Okay. Orange soda cup. Oh, okay. We're out of. Okay. Well. What do I. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, no. I've run out of things to do. Read another of those books. Wait. Oh no, that's just another book. Interesting, interesting. Has anything changed? Should I talk to Tori actually? Tori might, Tori might be a good, good person to check up on. Da, 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 da. I don't know where I'm going. Hi, Amar. Uh, how's life? Any last words? Interesting. Interesting. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, wait a second. Huh, your snow globes fit perfectly into this little indentation. <gasps> the void! Ooh! Freedom! Salvation this way, no cats allowed! Ooh! Where, where's the... Where's the freedom? <laughs> Kyungsun? Kyungsun groans. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. The whole what? Thing. <laughs> Burp. Um, Kyungsoon, did you, did you eat my freedom? I have fun and freedom, Kyungsoon. I'll just be here, you know, leaving. Maybe I'll go touch on, like, Schrodinger's cat. Open it? Oh, <gasps> yes! There's nothing inside. No. What am I supposed to do then? Schrodinger? Discarded broom? I'm not quite sure what I should be doing, but I am here. That's where you and Oliver play tic tac toe. Hmm, hmm. X wins, just kidding, it's a draw. Mm -hmm. Should I talk to someone? Hey, boys! Uh. I don't know what to do. The next best option is to start with Numa. Wait a second. That's the wrong person. It's not Numa. It's what's her name? The Natalie. There we go. Up. Okay. Good thing I'm so close to where she is. Up. Hey, what's up? Uh, what's up? 
up. Have you seen the broken glass? We really need to crack down on the cleaning department. Uh-huh. How's the drawing? Oh, I ended up scrapping him. Rip. Yeah, that's just how the cookie crumbles, you know? But it's okay. I'm drawing something way better now. What is it? Imagine this. Birds, but big. Dinosaurs. Ooh. How big? So big. Just wait and see. It'll be awesome. Alright. What about the last one? Thoughts about life? I liked it. Oh, I already saw this part too. Um... Hmm... I guess? What? What? Have I already? Oh, she's doing it right now. Okay, let's- let's see. Drawing of an old lady, that's my old grandmother. May she rest in- Peace. Hopefully in heaven and not here. A moth? That's the main character of my web comic, Sophia. She's a little off model due to my reps being on Earth. A UFO? My great uncle claimed he was abducted by a UFO in the 60s. He also said he had mind reading powers that only worked on frogs. Ah, <sighs> great uncle Esterna was kind of weird. Taco! 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 That's my dog, Jimmy. A drawing of a galaxy. I call this one Starry Night. Isn't there already a piece of art called that? Nah, no, I don't think so. Well, I guess you're right. A rainbow. That's just a rainbow or something. I don't know. Interesting. What if I beep? What's up? How's the drawing? They're so big. These birds are gigantic. Just give me a little more time. Okay. What if I just keep asking her about the birds? Um, uh, should I just do something else in the meantime? Or maybe I could just wait like 30 seconds. Unless... Who should I get? Is Natalie friends with anyone? I don't even remember that. I guess I can go check on Oliver again. Nap. Oh, you're awake. Hello, Emmer. Hey, ya. Uh, did you have a nice nap? Yes, yes, I'm feeling much better. I really needed that. <laughs> Told you so. Yeah, I... I suppose you were right on that one. So I guess I'm not always wrong. The truth is... The case of... Oh, the truth is the case of the intrusive pee was stagnating and hard. Maybe it's time to admit that there's really no hidden message in that book. I like to imagine that the typist came out in the wrong end of purgatory and the devil handed them a typewriter and said, Welcome to the Hellfire Press! Your job is to type this one world over and over until the end of time. And one day the typist flinger slipped and then one misprint found its way on the shelves. Wow, story. <laughs> Excuse me for waxing poetic for a moment. All that to say, we may never know why this typo exists, but to tell you the truth, I don't think it really matters that much. That's probably a good attitude, yeah. Yeah, no kidding. If I learned anything, is that there's way more important things in life and death. Speaking of which, I have one more favor to ask you. Sure, what can I do? Would you help me carry these books outside? Okay? Are we feeding them the Kyungsoon? You'll see, you'll see. You walk to the commons together. Kyungsoo? Oh, she's usually here. I think she's with Numa. What did you want her for? Well, I was going to give her these books. Really? Oliver letting Kyungsoo eat the books again? Who are you? I don't know you. What's the catch? No, 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 no catch. I just thought I would share. Oh, that's so sweet. 
Dang, that's nice of you. Oliver drops a stack of books. You put yours down as well. Huh, I'll just leave a note. For Kyung Soon, I've made copies, so don't hold back. Enjoy! Signed, Oliver. Smiley face. Okay, all done! Thanks again for your help, MR. Don't mention it. Now if you'll need me, I'll be cataloging. Eh, have fun. Oliver returns to the library. <gasps> Blackout sequence. Number, number, number that I don't know. You remember what you liked about yourself. You were... <laughs> no. <laughs> I was, I guess, honest and resilient. Am I honest and resilient? We'll never know. Your proudest moments were when you won the spelling bee. <laughs> Honestly, maybe. First played the guitar, finished your half marathon, had your first child, set the world record in a video game, graduated college, cut your hair off. It was winning the spelling bee in sixth grade. The winning weird? Billionaire. You pick yourself off from the ground. How do you not have a- oh wait, you're already dead, you can't have a concussion. Uh, and then, it's just Numa left. Not Numa, fuck Natalie. It's Natalie. Natalie! I'm here for the goods! Bang, bang, bang! Goods! Hop! Uh, hop! Hop! Done? Hey, what's up? How's the drawing? Oh, I- okay, I know what you're gonna say. But, I gave up on the birds, and I'm drawing something even better now. Oh, it's one of my original characters. Whenever I feel uninspired, I always go back to him. So, he's a dog, right? And his fur is rainbow colored. But also, he rides a skateboard and vapes. Sounds like literally the coolest dog on the planet. Right? I'll show you when I'm done. Alright. Um, how's the rainbow dog? I'm so excited, it's going to be awesome. Can't wait. Okay, mm I guess we can go talk to Tori real quick and then maybe come back. Mm, this way. And then, how's the door? Oops, I went too far. And then... How's the drawing? Uh, <laughs> interesting. I guess we'll go find someone else to talk to. And then the boys. And then we already talked about this. Uh, actually, ask about travel, I guess? Did you travel much? Uh, man, not nearly as much as I wanted to. You know, that's one of the reasons why I enlisted. In the military? Yep. It's not like I had any other plans and all my friends were doing it. Though, so I might as well go see the world, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. What kind of stuff did you get to see? <laughs> not much. A bunch of- a bunch of an 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 army base, desert, and misery. That's what. Dang, that sucks. So, it's all right. C'est la vie, so they say. Sorry, didn't mean to dampen the mood. Oh, it's okay. I went on some good travels too. Me and my friends drove up to North Carolina one time. They've got some pretty awesome mountains. Oh. And a lot of NASCAR stuff. Oh, are you into racing? Oh god, no. But one of my friends used to be really into it. Listen, if I wanted to see a bunch of people driving at breakneck speed, I'd go down the highway. People can't drive for the life of them. What's up, dude? Cooking up, cooking up more music? Sure, I'm thinking about it. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> Alternative meal, rhythm and meal, meal hop, musical theater? Okay, maybe the possibilities aren't exactly endless. But maybe I can think of a few more songs. Hell, maybe I'll hold a concert. Hey, yo, that would be sick. Invite Numa and Natalie and everyone. Except Tori. Maybe if she apologizes first. 
Oh, I'll have to think about Tori. <laughs> yep. This rivalry between those two, man. The, the ang anguish. <laughs> the Angie. He's got the Angie. Okay. Now. Oh, you're not drawing? How's the drawing? Uh, did you erase again? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it anymore. Kind of just want to sleep. Oh, that's all right. You don't have to draw if you're not feeling it. Mm -hmm. That's how the croaky crumbles and all that, I guess. Sounds like art block. Yeah, probably. Though usually it doesn't last this so freaking long. Maybe it's because we're in purgatory. And you have nothing to do. I guess I'm just feeling a little demotivated because I don't feel like doing anything at all. <sighs> I feel you. I think maybe I'll just go to sleep again. Unless you have a better idea. Hmm, what about... <gasps> Petting the cat! Hmm, no thanks. I'm allergic to cats. And they put you in purgatory? Oh my god, that's so cruel. <laughs> but you can't die, right? What about ringing the bell? Oh, Sean and I did that a while ago. Without me? Tori and Oliver got super mad at us. Oof. Listen, it was totally worth it. I would expect it was. Don't want to bother them again, though. Yeah, that's fair. Taking a walk? Maybe take a walk in the park. Ugh, no one told me in the afterlife would involve exercise. Mostly kidding. A walk sounds nice, but... I don't think I'm up to it right now. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> what if you painted a mural? Like, you know, the one in the catnip garden. <laughs> Do I know it? I'm the one who drew it. Oh, shit. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's a little gift for Numa. A little gift? Nah, that's a big gift. Oh, that's really sweet. Maybe the two of us can make one just for ourselves? Hmm, tell you what. That actually sounds pretty fun. Let's do it. Woohoo! Let me grab my art supplies. Natalie fishes a few pencils out of her drawer. Alright, let's go. The two of you climb out of the attic. Wow, it's been a while since I've been down here. What year is it? Uh, 2021, I think? I died back in 2020, 2020, 2020, 2015. Wow, old. Do we have flying cars yet? No. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, no, we have blockchain. What the fuck is that? Some sort of badass melee weapon? Uh, it's it's uh, like some sort of technology they use for Bitcoin. Apparently it's destroying the environment or something. Oh, we had Bitcoin. That's not as exciting as I expected. It's only been like six years. A lot can happen in six years. Sorry to get your hopes up. So is this like your house? I don't know. It was empty when I got here. So I just moved it. Do you know what happened to these pillows? They were like that when I got here, but based on the general theme of this place? Probably wild war wolverines. Yeah, I think so. Maybe the crazy ass chickens outside. Yeah, I was just thinking that too. So where should we go? You know the long hallway outside of the commons? Probably lots of good walls to draw on there. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's nice. a lot of wall. You make your way to the hallway. Ooh. Oh, this is perfect. I can't wait to graffiti this up. Heck yeah, go ahead. Oh. Like... R right now? Yeah, sure. Didn't you say you couldn't wait? Yeah, but I didn't mean it literally. Like, I definitely could wait if I had to. Oh, come on, just draw some. Natalie bradishes a pencil. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Go for it! Natalie doesn't move. Wow. Art. Um, take your time. Oh, I can't do it, dude. I'm still art blocked. Dang. What should I even draw? I don't know, maybe a, 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 a cat. For purgatory, okay, I'll draw a cat. I'm doing it for real. Okay. Natalie furiously scribbles on the wall. <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> Done. Nice. That's a cute cat. Thanks. Why is it saying fuck though? Because. 
He did a hard time in Alcatraz and came out a changed feline. He no longer trusts anyone but his own four paws. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Do you want to draw something? Sure. It might look kind of silly next to your masterpiece, though. Oh, nah, don't worry about it. Here, take my pencils. Thanks. Here goes nothing. Oh, that's an upside down sad face. Wait. It's even better upside down sad face. It's got... It's got... Fang. I don't know what I'm drawing, guys. It's got... F I don't know what that is. Angie. And now I will draw a very haphazard rainbow. Be bewildered by my art. Fuck yeah. <laughs> nice work. It's terrible. <laughs> Are you kidding? It's terrible. Oh, it's not that bad. It goes well with the word fuck. I mean, that's true. Fuck yeah. What are you hooligans doing? Tori appears in the hallway. Hey, Tori. Just adding a little splash of color to the hallway. Metaphorically, of course. Everything's in black and white except us. Given the whole everything is black and white thing. I see. No offense, but... Is it a good idea to scribble all over the place we'll be stuck in for eternity? Oh, we're just having a little bit of fun. Do you want to draw something too? I'll pass this time. Do you like the cat? I do like the cat, actually. Why is it saying fuck? <laughs> Natalie waves her hand dismissively. Long story. You know, Natalie, your art style kind of reminds me of this artist I used to follow. I think her name was, a uh, Pocket Net? Sorry. What? Pocket net. Like the word pocket, then net. Like the first part of your name. Well, yeah, she ran this webcomic called Eternal, but she just disappeared one day. Social media and everything. Natalie, are you okay? You read Nocturnal? Oh, are you familiar with it? You could say that, yeah. I'm definitely not the author. It used to be my favorite. It was a sad, sad day when Pocket disappeared. Granted, there were a couple of continuation comics made by fans, but I'm not sure if you were around for that, since you died before me. Come to think about it, <laughs> you died around the same time Pocket disappeared, so I guess you wouldn't have been. <sighs> I'm sorry, is it just me or is this conversation becoming sort of one-sided? I think what Natalie is trying to say is, uh, it, it me! <laughs> me Pocket! <laughs> I mean, I'm Pocket. Sorry? It- I'm Pocket, it's me! I made Nocturnal. No way. Yes way! Oh. My god. Dude, this is so cool! I can't believe he used to read Nocturnal. Fan meeting! If you really like Pocket Nat, I have to know. Were Edward and Twist ever supposed to get together? Well, duh. The subtext is all over chapter 13. I knew it. Dang, this sure is crazy. God, I remember I used to read so much fanfiction about those two. Wait, really? Did a lot of people ship them? The better question is, who didn't ship them? There's this one fic where Sophia made, became a mech pilot. I think I'm just gonna go? You know, spoiler warning, but there's something similar to that when I was drafting the third arc. Tell me now. <laughs> you quietly sidle away from the conversation. They don't seem to notice. They're in their own world. <laughs> Dude, Tori for real making that pose, man. What the craziest part is, they were roommates. <gasps> oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> um, let's sideline this. Come back. Oh, there go. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna leave. Ah, oh, oh. We're gonna leave, go back. Oh, actually, I kinda wanna go to Natalie's room. So now that she's not here, I can snoop. Dong. Snoop, cozy bed, cozy bed. Footstool for short people. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Isn't that a crate? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not crate. 
It's actually crearable. Mm -hmm. Okay, are they done? Let's see. Um. Actually, can I pick up this pencil? Oh, never mind, the lead's broken. A crack? Guess this afterlight's not cracked out? Wait a second, the land of a pipe. Oh, okay, the pipe. Okay, that, that makes sense. <laughs> My art. <laughs> okay. So, we can check the commons. No. Actually, let's go check where Tori would be. Which is... Right next to where Natalie would be. Which is quite convenient. Hi, Emma. Uh, what's up? Fruit Loops. Oh, yeah. Fruit Loops are not flavored. Oh, she got out of that art book. I need a sneeze. Give me a sec. I can't sneeze. Never mind. Oh, hey, Emma. <sighs> Sorry, I snubbed you earlier. I'm just so excited about Nocturnal that I forgot about everything else. I'm okay. <laughs> Wow, it looks like you've been hard at work. You bet. Tori got me motivated to work on Nocturnal again, so I started drawing the whole chapter based on what I remembered from Earth. Isn't that awesome? That's great. Let me read it when you're done. <laughs> Getting over your art block moth. Moth feel pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I could draw 10, du 10 robot dudes and... Henna, those big words too. Guess all that art was pent up inside you. All you need to do is push in the right draw action. You'd be right about that. You know what they say? Before you learn to run, you have to learn to walk. <laughs> Natalie holds up a drawing of an old lady holding a walk. What? Why do you have that on hand? <laughs> okay, see, this is from a section where Sophia goes into a dream of an old lady. And she's cooking dinner for her family, right? Like, a harmless little grandma. But it turns out, she's actually a spy specializing in walk combat. Oh, wow, wow. Bro, it's gonna be so cool. I gotta get back to work. Okay, have fun. Thanks, I think I will. You remember all the things you never did. I guess we're feigning right in front of Natalie. You really wanted to- I don't want to start a family. I want to- uh, uh, learning how to code, but also living in a cottage in the woods sounds pretty good. Uh, I kind of want to learn how to code, I guess. Maybe things would have been different if you'd known how you would die. You could have at least- I don't have dogs. Said goodbye, do we- Donated- no. <laughs> Spend it all on pizza. No, I'd probably want to say goodbye to my friends. Dun, dun, dun. Emmer! Oh my god, are you okay? Oh, my eyes. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. I just got dizzy all of a sudden. Dude, you totally blacked out and fell over. Dizzy a little? No, dizzy a lot. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, yeah, is my habitual motion sickness. Schnicknish. I'm fine now. Thanks, though. Okay, good. I was about to start doing math or ma mouth to mouth or something. Jeez. Take it easy, okay? Will do. I'm glad that you know how to do math to mouth, Natalie, because I don't. I don't. But now that I think we're done, you know what time it is? Phone call time.